Radio Canada came out with a report that they could be rebranding and will now be known as Montreal FC. Now, obviously, uh, the Radio Canada did reach out to the club. Nobody wanted to comment on it. But we do know that Montreal Impact, that has been their name since they were founded in 1992. And they've been through all kinds of reincarnations of leagues that they've been in, of course, before making their MLS debut in 2012. All the thumbs up, thumbs down in the new name, Montreal FC. Initially, I was, I was thumbs down, but my thumb might be turning a little bit because the more I think about this one, <laughs> I, I don't really mind it. Um, I, I, I agree with people who say that we shouldn't hide away from North American soccer history and, and not necessarily naming teams in the way that it's done in Europe. We should embrace, um, you know, kind of the soccer culture in, on this continent. I agree with that. But I just don't know if the Montreal Impact has ever been that great a name. Um, it's a bit indoor soccer. It's a bit kind of, it, it doesn't really mean anything to me in terms of <laughs> representing that city, that province, you know. Um, I think there's so many, so, many, so many great things about Montreal and Quebec to draw on in terms of imagery and culture and soccer culture. Um, that, 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 that name doesn't really do any of that for me. So I don't know how I feel about Montreal FC. That seems like a bit of a kind of easy way to go down and a bit too close to Toronto FC for me. But the idea of changing it and, and making this club, starting to fulfill the potential of this club, which I think is, is much bigger than is, is currently being realized, um, I don't mind that idea and, and I'd be willing to, to see what they come up with. Yeah, it, it, it's interesting. I don't mind that they dropped the name because they went to something traditional. And it's been said for a long time in Montreal, they haven't embraced or got the attention of the entire city. There's pockets that are into it. So I think they want to represent the city a little bit more. So get rid of the impact and just keep the focus on Montreal. And look, we're expecting a couple teams potentially coming up in the next couple of years in the Canadian Premier League in the province of Quebec, distinguishing yourself as the team in Montreal, first and foremost, most leaving the impact to the side uh, it's not a bad play as Kevin Gilmore continues to pull the strings